This is the net rotary load pump from the Tornado range. The flow rate capabilities are up to 125 meters cube per hour and up to six bar. Capable of pumping blowable clean liquids, viscous liquids and solids laden slurries. This example is mounted on the back of a tractor. It's PTO driven with a three point linkage. The pump has two input shafts in case the PTO is not reversible so that we can change the direction of pumping if required. We have bower connections here. We can engineer any kind of interface, flange connections or any kind of quick coupling required. The inlet and outlet can be switched by changing the direction of the PTO as described. We have an arrangement of pipe here which allows us to keep prime in the pump so that you don't have to keep priming the pump every time you break the connections. It's a very movable, versatile piece of equipment. We've designed our pumps to be very user friendly. They can be maintained in place without any specialist knowledge and only require very simple tools. Let me demonstrate. In a very short time these bolts can be removed and this cover can be can be taken off. And the inner liner removed to expose the lobes on the rotary load pump. Here any blockages that might have occurred can be removed, the lobe condition can be inspected and the liner can be inspected as well. In a minute we can see how easy it is to remove the lobes. To remove the lobe, we come behind the, the pump housing here and there's a simple taper lock mechanism for each shaft. And by loosening the bolts on the shaft, we can then take the lobe out from the front of the pump. Once the taper locks are loosened, you can pull out the lobes Just like that. To replace the lobes, put the lobes back on the shaft loose and then use this device here which sets the timing and also the setting distance on the shaft. And we use casing bolt to ensure that when this is tight, the lobes are in the exactly right position on the shaft and the timing exactly right too. Here we have a Netch rotary load pump from the Tornado Mobile range. It's trailer mounted and can be moved into position very easily. It's got an independent diesel drive, 45 horsepower. It drives through this over centre clutch here. The diesel drive is very easy to operate with a key start and a hand throttle. This particular model can pump up to 250 meters cube per hour depending on the throttle position and up to four bar pressure. The inlet has two six inch pipes. Two are required because of the high volume flow. I'll introduce some of the features of this equipment. We have a road going trailer which is braked and easy to move into position. The pipe rack installed. We have a low level fuel tank mounted here. We have some space for some lay flat hoses. Now let me show you the starting procedure. The starting procedure is to move the key to position one, wait for the bottom three lights to go out, move the throttle into the start position, ensure that the over center clutch is disengaged and then we can start. The 
The over-centre clutch is engaged when the engine is running by firmly moving this into position.